Today I fucked up today I managed to broadcast my partner's orgasm. I am currently a university student. All classes are being delivered online due to the pandemic and as such we log into Microsoft Teams to participate in our lessons. I logged in this morning for a group tutorial, all was well. And I had a 30 minute break before my next class. Statistics this time round. In this 30 minute break my GF decided we should participate in some extracurricular activities if you know know what I mean. So wham bam we got it on. Time was against us and whilst I managed to achieve the intended result she was somewhat lacking. Had time been on my side, and I was a better lover, I would have facilitated the equal achievement for my partner. However as previously stated I was required to study some statistics. The lecture started and my partner continued next to me in the bed while I somewhat distracted tried to continue my studies. She achieved a spectacular orgasm with the full on porn sound effects, fantastic. My lecturer tried to stifle a laugh. And to my horror I saw I was not muted. Fuck. I think it was unmuted when I made the team's window full screen. We valiantly carried on as if nothing had happened and my WhatsApp group exploded with comments. This has gone well. On the bright side the lecture is recorded so I can relive my moment of shame at my leisure. Fuck stats. TL drive. Managed to unmute my mic whilst my partner orgasmed loudly next to me. In an online class. Edit, I have reviewed the class. Whilst it's hilarious I cannot post the video, or audio, without seriously breaching the uni social media policies. You can clearly hear other students and the lecturers voices and it's not on to broadcast that. I have broadcast quite enough. managed to, I notice at no point do you say accidentally. Difference between today I fucked up and tiff. Were time on my side, and I was a better lover. Story of my life. Better luck next time mate. Least we know our limitations. Small dick fast ass but I can't compete with a turbo dick 2000s level of vibes. Don't worry you simply asserted your dominance over all virgins in your class. Unless they thought he was watching porn. I'm legit a statistician and I think I can confidently say I've never been that excited about statistics. A story for never have I ever. I absolutely love this. On another note, though, can you imagine how never have I ever games are going to change in the future after this pandemic? Today I fucked up by having a horrid first wet dream at 27 years old. Well the title basically sums it up. But I'll go into more depth because what caused me to have it is fucking horrifying. I used to be a daily marijuana smoker but my new job does random testing so I had to quit. While I was smoking I would never remember a dream I had, but now that I stopped they've got an insanely vivid and kind of fucked up to be honest. The dream I had last night had me, my very recent ex, and one of my friend's moms. Now it wouldn't be bad at all if my friend's mom was a MILF, but she is the exact opposite. She is extremely overweight, ugly as shit, and is a huge alcoholic. My ex didn't really play much of a part in my dream other than sitting on her couch. But my friend's mom sure had quite a big role in it. From what I remember I was taking nude pictures of her butt ass naked playing with sex toys for some fucked up reason. I got a few pictures of her on the ground spread eagle fucking herself with a dildo then decided to get a different angle and sat on top of one of her legs. Apparently the friction of my dick being on her leg was enough to set me off because the sensation woke me up in a huge panic thinking I was about to piss my bed. Nope. To my unfortunate surprise it definitely wasn't piss. My knees were covered in cum. I had to get up at like 3 in the morning to clean up and change then made the walk of shame back to bed. I had to take this to reddit because if I told any of my friends I would get roasted into oblivion because they all know how busted she is. Hope you enjoyed my story about my first wet dream. Cheers fellow redditors. Too long didn't read, had a dream about taking nude pictures of my friend's ugly ass overweight mom and it caused me to have my first wet dream. Edit, thank you everyone for the rewards. Going through these comments makes me realize how common it really is. I guess the only thing I can be embarrassed about is who made it happen. LOL.
I recently gave up the Chiba and my dreams have been nuts and super vivid. One night I had to save a princess from a Yakuza assassin. The next night, Samuel L. Jackson was giving me a stern monologue before he had to leave to go star in a Stargate SG-1 themed passion play. Passion of the Jaffa. He played Teal'c. Two night, back to back the weirdest most vivid fucking dreams. I am assuming they both ended up as wet dreams? Yo mama so ugly wet dream about her is a horrid nightmare. Well my first one happened real young, I must have been maybe around 8 to 10. At this point I didn't know what anything was that was going on down there. I just woke up surprised and embarrassed that I wet the bed at that age. I went and woke up my parents and said something along the lines of I wet the bed but I don't know if the sheets need to be changed. My underwear is really wet but the bed is dry. So they told me just to change and go back to sleep and assured me there was no pee in the bed and not to worry. I went to bed confused but forgot about it for years until I became became more aware and realized what happened that night. I regularly think back on that and cringe about how I pretty much exactly told my parents without even realizing it. To be fair you were 8 to 10. They probably saw it the same way as anything else having to do with kids, piss, poo, snot, vomit etc. Welcome to the club of shame. Cool story, thanks for sharing. Just to be sure, have you checked your phone's photo gallery for new pictures? I took some epic pictures of a blue black hole that was the size of a dime in the sky. Huge nebulas, planets, galaxies in the sky so big it felt like you could measure them by holding a ruler in front of you. I even stopped to look at my phone in great detail to make sure I was actually taking pictures with my real phone. It passed the Turing test and I excitedly screamed holy fuck. With hysterical laughter and amazement as I very obviously stared at the sky with my eyes as wide open as I could make them because this was really happening. I took so many pictures, I thought of so many people to show them to later and see their pictures. You could imagine that I was pretty depressed that entire day starting from the moment I woke up, because I had no one to share how cool and bow today I fucked up everything looked. Your comment made me think of this time because as soon as is woke up, I was like, no, there's no way, it was real, and I took a moment to relive my dream. I check my phone and I'm met with the boring ass pictures I took yesterday. I felt like I had just thrown out all my sentimental stuff, and lost someone I loved. Felt hurt and disturbed all day with a hole inside me, and feeling a little bit lost. Pretty crazy how dreams can work their way into reality. Just not in ways you'd expect them to. Today I fucked up by casually throwing a bag of birdseed into my virtual shopping basket. Didn't happen today but last week, because of covid I do all my shopping online. I have two very old cats, 19 yo and 20 yo, and I needed a special comb to help them with grooming. Also wanted to get them some treats and special feed. I put everything in my basket of the online pet store and get a notification order for year 3,95 more and get free shipment. I'm thinking it would be nice to order some bird seed. My daughter and I, she's 3 yo, can feed the birds on our walks, that way she has a goal and won't get bored. Congratulating myself on this brilliant idea I look up bird seed for the birds most common in my area. I feel like a great mother and a true animal lover. There's different sizes and I notice the biggest size is a lot cheaper per kg than the smaller ones. Anticipating on a lot of wintry walks I order the biggest one. A few days later the postman arrives with a hand truck. I already forgot I also ordered bird seed so I say, that can't be for me but it is. And that's how we ended up with 11 kg of bird seed. Luckily my daughter loves it. I also donated 2 kg to her nursery school so they can make bird feeders. Too long didn't read, wanted to make the minimum amount for free shipping, didn't look carefully and ended up with 11 kg of bird seed. Edit, thank you so much for your replies and awards. I'll try to read them all. Some people asked if this was a repost or a stolen story. I swear it isn't but thank you for the link because I feel a bit less stupid now. Other people asked how much it was. A 2 kg bag was 3,95 but then I saw a 11 kg bag was 12,49. My mind went, that's much cheaper. 
without really registering how much 11 kg was. Hence the FU. My mailman is a small, skinny guy, they packed it in a box with the stuff for my cats and he has to walk all the way to the elevator and then quite a bit in my hallway so I think that's why he used the hand truck. The bag of seed after I already took a lot out of it. I have a friend with whom I sometimes go shopping. She buys 18 kilograms bags at the supermarket. I didn't tell her she was crazy until I saw her do it a second time a month after the first. Apparently the cats, for their own reasons, love it almost as much as the birds and squirrels do. I believe it. I live in the suburbs and I get all kinds eating in and around my bird feeders. Squirrels, foxes, deer, even feral cats. Not many raccoons though as they prefer to pill for the food I set out for the feral cats. I really thought some cat v bird incident was going to come into play. Sounds like you're going to have some great walks. Is this a repost? I swear I read this story like a year or two ago. Once, I ordered multiple bushels of beets from the farmer's market online app. It was right before Thanksgiving and I needed quick delivery. I confused bushel with bunch and thought I was getting a big grocery store bag, and figured it was more expensive than I expected bc it was the farmer's market. I had several boxes of beets dropped off from a very concerned looking delivery guy. You'll have fun using it anyway. At least your daughter will. Plus you did a good thing donating some of it. Great story indeed.